What's up, hungry people? It's Rex with Eat Magazine and Eat OC. Now, I'm here with Jeremy, my brother from another mother. We're at the Slide Bar Rock and Roll Kitchen in downtown Fullerton. And today, I want to find out what's it like being a rock star in Fullerton. That's got to be a crazy experience. And I want to check out some new items on your menu. You've got some kid-friendly items that are little known, actually, and a dog-friendly patio that almost nobody knows about. If that's something that interests you, stick around. So Jeremy, you've been here with the slide bar for how long? 12 and a half years. In downtown Fullerton. And you're a legitimate rock star living in Fullerton. Well, what's what's that like? It depends on who you ask. But okay. I've been very fortunate to, to have some success in the music business, have some right. songs that people know and love, hopefully. And uh, yeah, and, and um, Fullerton's a place that I've been living in for about 25 years. My parents live here, my brother lives here, my son has gone through preschool to, he's a senior in high school now at Troy, so he's uh, born and raised. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, Fullerton's where we set up camp. And your brother and bandmate. Yep. I believe he also lives in Fullerton as well. He does. Okay, and he has a child in school around here. And She's at Troy as well. Yeah, we're all we're all here, man. We're all right here. We're all Fullerton. Downtown Fullerton, right? right. Why, why go anywhere else? That's why we have kid-friendly stuff, and that's why we all have dogs. So we have a dog-friendly place. And, okay. Um, we're, we play in a band, so we're a rock and roll-friendly place. And right. it's very, pretty much, we, we uh, designed this place to be a place for us to hang out at when we're not on tour or okay. not writing music. We hang out here with our friends and our family. and. Um, that's the kind of vibe it is. Being on tour as much as we have over the years, my band, almost every meal is eaten somewhere out. Um, and so just along the way, I just picked up ideas from the South, from the East Coast, from, you know, anything that I that I really liked. I thought, I wonder how we could do that in Orange County. And so we, we were kind of the first to introduce the deep fried pickle here. Deep fried pickle. Um, I like that one. Our barbecue that we have here is, a lot, is more Memphis style because that's my particular favorite. What is Memphis style barbecue? Uh, it's more of a dry rub, not super saucy, more of a baby back. We do that every weekend and it's off the hook. Okay. Everything that we have here, I taste test it and if it's not off the hook, it doesn't get out. Off the hook the is kitchen. good. Off the hook is good, yeah. Off the hook is good. If it's not fantastic and delicious. Which and is also off the hook. Craveable. Craveable, I like that word. I don't know yeah. if that one's actually a real word, but I think we're gonna use that one. Craveable <laughs> food at the slide bar. So another craveable item that I've experienced here is the Psycho Burger. What's up with that thing? That is just a Crazy. ridiculous stack of goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's, so it's grilled cheese sandwich, <laughs> three of them, right? For three the, grilled cheese sandwiches. And those are the buns, and then you've got burgers, and you've got and like half pound burgers between the two of those. I recommend sharing it with somebody. Yeah. Or, or a few people. Eating it over several days. Yeah. Right? It's definitely, talk about off the hook. The, yeah, the psycho yeah. burgers. Macaroni is and silly. cheese in it, and bacon, and onions are. Fry off. Just, I mean, people like a insane. spectacle, you know? And you gotta at least, if it's, it's your birthday, show. yeah, when it's your birthday, you get the Psycho Burger. You get that and a whammy bar, right. which is our dessert, which we invented, you know, 12, 13 years ago. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's a show. So that's the performer in you coming out in your food, right? I mean, like, you understand performance on stage, and maybe this sort of relates back to that, where you're, it's another way to perform on, yeah, you know, I think every so. plate is a little stage for you, right? Yeah, it's a form of, expression and creativity and even though our food is we've narrowed it down to some of the basics you've got burgers and tacos and salads and 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 macaroni and cheese that you mentioned it it's what we've literally narrowed down over the years to what people crave and what people request and what people want an awesome version of so right. that's kind of our our whole thing is is craveable pub grub, if you will, yeah. but it's kid friendly, it's family friendly. We have tons of kids here all the time. People know it as the slide bar and they think the word bar is in there because right. we're just a bar. The slide yeah. bar is actually what you use on a slide guitar, like a blues guy would use. All so right. it's a music related term that we thought of and we thought it was cute that it had the word bar in it too. Oh yeah. yeah. Works. But it's a music themed, kids love to run around on the stages. And so you let the kids run around on the stages? We let kids run around 
we try to keep the dogs out there Free on the patio. All. Kids are not going to be able to break anything. Right. It's an indestructible space. As long as it's cool with the parents, we let the kids wander around. As long as they're not climbing on the servers or right. you know, <laughs> yeah. climbing into the kitchen, then, then we're good. I think most of your servers, a lot of them have kids too, right? We've had a lot of kids born into the slide bar family and watching them grow up here. We've actually have some of them working here now. Okay. Mine's one of them. We've had a few over the years where we're they were coming here eating, coloring the kids menu. Right, yeah, yeah. 12 years ago, and now they're coming in okay. working here. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. It is very much a family friendly, kid friendly place. And the dogs, do you have, I don't know, bowls of water and that kind of stuff? We, have, we have bowls of water. We do burger patties, chicken breasts. Um, oh, you know. for the dogs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dog food at a higher level. You got to ask the server for a dog menu. We do have that. And um, <laughs> really? Yeah. Slide bar, the dog food rocks. <laughs> <laughs> where dogs rock too. It's and, and we've never had an issue. The dogs always love it out here on the patio. We've got a great patio and, and um, it's a good vibe. Can I bring my, I don't have a dog. Can I bring my cat? I'll see why not. Is it a cat friendly menu? Depends on if your cat likes <laughs> dogs. The dogs would love that, right? <laughs> so I have a copy of the kids menu right here and Jeremy and I are gonna have a coloring contest in a minute to see who does a better <laughs> job. So you've got chicken tenders, grilled cheese, grilled quesadilla, hamburgers, mac and cheese, you get to choose fruit or fries or veggies, and you get a drink and a dessert, which is ice cream with chocolate sauce, I believe. Yep, I think you're right. All right, awesome. So if you're a kid, bring your parents. So here's the current menu. I mean, I think it's updating. You're always- We're sort of, always updating. You're always yeah. updating, right? Every time you go out on the road, you probably come up with some new idea. Yeah. I'll bet you got a thousand ideas for menu items right now. Yep. What's your favorite item on this menu? What's Nashville like? is my second home, and it's a very popular, place for hot chicken. Somebody, spicy, spicy somebody chicken? invented this like a few years ago and it's a massive hit in Nashville. There's lines around the block for it. Literally some genius was like, hey, I know we're gonna call it Nashville hot chicken and make it a Nashville thing. And, but 10 years ago, there was no Nashville hot chicken. And the difference between a Nashville hot chicken sandwich versus like a buffalo chicken sandwich right. is that the heat mm -hmm. is in the breading in the chicken. It's really delicious All right. and it's got coleslaw on it, which kind of cools down the cools heat down a little bit. bit. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. And the hangover burger is another one of my favorites. It's got a fried egg on it. Which All right, yeah. I'll put a fried egg on just about anything. Yeah, right. So, um, so I love that. And your mac and cheese, right? And that I, was the I've very- I've had that and it's, tell me about yeah. the mac and cheese. Well, it was the very first menu item that we ever had at the slide bar. It was right. the first thing that our very first chef ever prepared was mac and cheese. And it was sort of modeled after my grandmother's recipe, which has a lot of Tillamook cheddar cheese and a lot of just, it's gooey it's, and creamy and is, decadent and delicious. And it's just horrible. Um, yeah. You it's really like good it for you. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's super low healthy, in calories, low calorie, low in carbs. Oh yeah. No gluten free, <laughs> all, all that, that stuff. stuff. Yeah. It's just, it's like yeah. a complete, it's, it's, it's like raw vegan food. <laughs> it's been our mainstay for <laughs> since day one. We've never been able to, yeah. it, it's just been our greatest hit. The whammy bar. <laughs> so once again, it's, oh my a, it's God. A, a music, it, a whammy bar is the bar on the guitar that goes, oh. goes bow, bow, bow. I had no idea. That's a whammy bar. Brownie on the bottom, chocolate chip cookie dough in the middle, brownie on top, funnel cake batter, deep fried ice cream, syrup, and it's, it, it, you, you could share it with four people. I yeah, mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's insane. It's awesome. Very rich, very decadent. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, I've, I've had it. Rich and decadent seem to be the theme of the day here with all of our food and many of our drinks. <laughs> so rich and decadent and <laughs> craveable. Was that the word craveable. that you created? Yeah. Right. So it's all very craveable at the slide bar, uh, rock and roll kitchen. That's right. That's what we call so it now. Cooking right? up rock and roll. Right. The fried dill pickle. We've had it since day one, but it's something that we, you know, it's very Texas E, you know, South. Yeah. And so it's something I brought back from my journeys, but people have it now. I'm working back there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, a, we're an actual working restaurant, so it's going to get a little loud. Just talk louder, man. You know how yeah. to project, oh, yeah. right? You're a performer. Go ahead. But we came back Rock on. and we brought the deep fried pickles. We had to explain to people that it was like fried zucchini, but with a little kick to Nobody it. knew what it was. And now, you know, they have it at Lucille's. They have them here oh, and yeah, there. Yeah. And it's a, it's, it's a thing. I mean, They're sooner or later, everyone catches it. Everything you make here, people are going to copy. Well, Psycho Burger at in and out next to you. Yeah, <laughs> right. I think you can get that. At, at, oh, right, yeah, you, you can probably call, like you have to make, know the code word. It's got some name, right? Okay. Buffalo cauliflower is a vegetarian appetizer. So it's okay. like buffalo wings, but it's made from cauliflower and it's really tasty. So vegetarians are welcome here at the slide. We're also well. working on getting the uh, Impossible Burger here, which is the new craze that's taken over the country. Never heard um, of. It's a very delicious vegetarian beef substitute patty. Our Sunday brunch here is something that's been a huge gathering and success 
for 12 years. It's a little different, right? We've got barbecue, we've got custom omelets, chili killies, great Bloody Marys, great bottomless mimosas, all that kind of stuff, plus music. And it feels more like a backyard party, like a barbecue at, right. at a buddy's house. We have weekly regulars for brunch. Right, yeah. super popular. Myself included if I'm in town. What is the mac and cheese balls from hell? I don't know what it is, but it sounds craveable completely. Somebody said, I don't know how you could make this mac and cheese any better unless you rolled it up in a ball and deep fried it. Why can't we do that? We can do that. We can totally roll it up in a ball and deep fry it. Yeah. And then my wife awesome. would, actually had the idea of shoving a jalapeno in there. Ah, uh, okay. So uh. it gives it that kick and then it took the mac and cheese balls from hell moniker from the Cowboy from Hell Burger. So it, Are you, that's yeah. an original here at the Slide Yeah, bar. it is okay, an original. Wow. So you'll see that everywhere pretty soon probably too, right? <laughs> nachos, you got, I forget what your nachos look like. Are they pretty gigantic? They're pretty big, yeah. Okay. Everything, everything's decent size. That's not over the top, crazy, insane. We like things that are shareable. So our stuff's designed for that. Everything's big enough that you could share it with somebody so you can order two or three things and just really kind of pass it around the table. That's, that's sort of the idea. Okay, shareable and craveable. We are inventing all kinds of terms. It's, we're getting crazy, man. I think <laughs> shareable's a word, though. Shareable's a word, people use that, yeah. What's something that we can look forward to coming to the Slide Bar Rock and Roll Kitchen? You got a new item on your mind that's kicking around in there that you're, oh, here it comes. He's got it, I can see it's, there, it's in. There's always a handful. It's just a matter of, you know, just give me one trying it out. Ooh. Well, like I said, the, the impact. It was a little something. Uh, you know, we're always trying to be conscious of, of what's, yeah, I, I, right now, gluten-free is a big thing, right? Um, I've like got that. a couple people very close to me that are, um, that have celiac, and so we're gonna explore options where, like right now our barbecue ribs, the, the, the seasoning that we use in that is gluten-free so that people can eat those, and we're gonna be a little more conscious of that, like Impossible Burger, our vegetarian friends, um, sure. and we're one of those places too, I mean, you know, I'm the owner, our chef is right down the hallway there, and if you do have a dietary restriction, or you do have something that you're craving, or if you're on the keto diet, or you're going to the gym later, and you just want a chicken breast and some steamed broccoli, we can do anything we want. Like, we'll right. make it. If we got it, we'll make it. Okay. And yeah. so, um, we're, we're, but you know, we definitely want to add some of that stuff to the menu. And Special orders. Bring it. And now we're doing all the food delivery stuff too, so you can, you okay. can grab hub us and Uber Eats us and do all that stuff. Right on. Yeah. Come and get it. So there you go, Slide Bar Rock and Roll Kitchen in downtown Fullerton with Jeremy. Come on and check it out. It's got something for everybody. Something, something for the kids, something for the dogs, something for mom and dad, something for your gluten-free folks. That's right. Your vegetarians, brunch enthusiasts. All Slide Bar's for everyone, so. And if we don't have it, we'll get it. Right, yeah, if you want a pizza, just order from Domino's, right? Or no, we'll go down to the Bowery and get it. Oh, we'll go down to the Bowery and get it, all right, cool. All right, that's it for us. We'll see you on the next one. Later, or let's do a rock on. How about that? That's it for us. Rock on. Was I supposed to say it with you? I don't know. Okay. Let's try it again. Rock on. Ro what do you do? Is this it? This is the. Yeah, you can do it. What okay. is that? It just means heavy metal. I don't know. All right, well, whatever. Yeah, rock on. Time, time, that's it. Okay. All right, so let's check on our progress. So let's see if you can guess which one's whose is whose. Okay, so did you color that? Or I just did. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, so that's so, okay. I was so working you, on my panther. Okay, all right, good. Uh, orange panther. Is that panthers yeah. are normally? That's a tiger, though. I think it's got stripes. Man, you know what? That's the panther my over here. My tattoo panther is black. So let's see. Where's that tattoo panther? Show it to the camera. But you see the blue flower is like a theme, a blue rose, and I, that's I, that was my go-to. I didn't even realize that. Oh yeah. Uh, look, and you went right to it. What's it? I've what's never up? actually seen a blue rose. What's up? With, well, here, right here. You got one right now. What's up with Jeremy and his blue roses? What's your favorite tattoo on your arm? Some place where you can actually show us one. Man, I don't know. I forget. Well, just pick one. Let me pick one. Let's see. That's pretty cool. I like that. Frank Sinatra. Uh, oh, yeah, Frank Sinatra. Look at that, man. Right on. Is that for your crooner styling? I love Frank. You like Frank, man. All right, so uh, we're not done with this. We're going to keep working on it, but you can probably judge us right now. Uh, figure out who did which one. Obviously, he did the blue flower. And then. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let him know. Okay, so Jeremy did the tiger, and I did the uh, green and pink and blue and orange panther, which I'm still working on. So I'm not done All with right. this yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing it, and then we'll, we'll, we'll then we'll do some more stuff. Good. I want to finish this. <laughs> cool.